All right, thanks for pressing play on this video. I'm going to teach you the settings that you want enabled for your music lesson. All right. First of all, download the Zoom app for your computer. I believe it's the easiest way to start your meetings and the quickest way to get your meeting started. And so if you do that, then right here is a gear that you want to click to get to your settings. Now, if you just don't want to download that app in the top left hand corner, click where it says Zoom and then scroll down to preferences and it'll take you to the same place. All right, which is right here. All right. So we click the gear. We're here. We're going to go down to audio, click audio. And now we're going to make sure right here it says automatically adjust microphone volume. You do not want that checked. Mine is already off. So it's automatically checked by default. Make sure it's off. Next, suppress background noise. Uh, by default, it's on auto, but you don't want that. You want it on low. It used to be that we could totally disable this. Now the only option is to have it on low. That's the best option for our purposes. All right, so click that. You want to you want to do that because. Uh, when we play our instruments and when we play music, or if we're playing a track, Zoom considers that background noise because the average person is not meeting on Zoom for a music lesson. And when music is playing, then it's con typically considered background noise. Music is not noise. Okay, I digress. Advanced is the next thing you want to do. Click Advanced. Um, make sure this box is checked show in meeting option to enable original sound make sure it is checked all right then back out test your microphone before you get on the lesson all right and uh, make sure that the correct microphone is being heard uh, for me i'm going through my mixer and i have the mgxu so for me that's correct if you're using the um, usb or anything else just make sure you have the correct mic selected and that your meters are approximately where mine are right now if you're too soft, this is what it sounds and looks like. Too soft, too soft, too soft. It's going to be hard to hear you like this. So I'm turning it up, and I want to sound and look like this on the meter. Okay? Test the mic. Test the speaker. If something's wrong here, it's going to be wrong in the lesson. All right? So you want to get to the bottom of any, um, any difficulties before we start the lesson. All right? So that's all the settings, but we're not finished. So I have to open an actual meeting to show you what to do next. So once you get on the call, this is what you're going to do. At the top left hand corner, you're going to see this box. It's going to say turn on original sound because right now the original sound from my mixer or from my microphone is not being heard. Um, so I'm going to click it and now it's on. Just like that, we're done. Okay. Now here's a warning. I tested this with a friend of mine and while it sounds best this way um there sometimes there can be latency it could be a lag if you're uh, it depends on your internet connection if you're going to have a lag or not so you have to decide what's more important to you if you're having that issue and also i want to tell you if at all possible use a hard wire for your um internet connection hard wire for our purposes is better than wi-fi okay that's all for now and uh, I'll see you in the lesson soon. And that's all. God bless you. Take care.